Okay guys, let's uh, crack on. So we're going to do the, uh, the trigger. So pretty much the same process as every other time. Look to end, I've got my material editor. Let's uh, bring up edge faces. But to out of a putty. Well, it's a bit slow there, but it's alright. Now we'll just bring this guy in, in about there. Bring these guys up. guy in and we'll bring this guy in as well so about here we'll grab the edge and we'll just bring this down just a bit go to perspective view and bring this guy in just a bit just so we can get this curve and the trigger there So I'll bring just this bit out, just a bit more. Go back to the front view. Bring it in. And again. So I'll bring by in. Try and match the, the curvature of the trigger. So the best that you can. And that guy in. This looks to me like it's just a bit more thin. Okay. So go ahead, try and get the shape that you want. Uh, take some time if you need to. So I'm just going to not do that. These extrude. And again. Something like that. Okay, so we'll go back to these edges. And we'll just flatten these, these guys out. Good, bring it goes in. Uh, turbo smooth. Okay, we also need to do some work. Let's go back to the front. Okay, so we need to have this a little bit more sharper. So we'll go to the swift loop tool, set the edge there. And there, uh, about here, and across there. Let's 
So I need to adjust some verts around here, just so I can get this more of a, a fluid motion. But we do have the hard edge here. Okay. So let's uh, readjust some verts here. Uh, actually, uh, let's go back to perspective. Let's turn the sure edge constraint. Uh, let's add an edge more in the center. So I'm do that and okay, these guys here are a bit too close. So I'm gonna grab these, turn on my edge constraint. Bring those guys in. Remember to turn on edge constraint so we are scaling along the edge. So grab these. Grab these and okay, it's going to hold up those, frame up on there. Okay, that's looking pretty nice, especially at the bottom here. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to check the shape one last time. Gonna bring these. Turn off my edge. Moves across. There. Bring these out. Guys, in So something like that guys. Okay. The bottom of this uh, looks to be a bit sharp. So you may want to go in and 
just soften these some on the edge constraint and just bring these bring these just slightly back and these slightly up and Okay. So we'll put on a symmetry modifier. Press one to activate. So very small, just put it on one for a second. And roughly about there. Body. Let's grab these faces on the top. And delete. Okay, we just need to do some fixing up. So, before we uh, actually do that, uh, what I'm going to do is go back to our front view and just to add a couple of edge loops just to hold that shape at the top. Okay, so go back to perspective mode, turn on my symmetry, and just grab Just checking out the shape here.
Right, so Azure Putty. Whoops. I'm going to delete that from my stack. Convert to Azure Putty. I'm just going to center my pivot. Trim this guy down. Turbo smooth. Hit OK, frame up. To the center. So we'll go back to our putty mode and we just want to actually we'll just grab these edges here. Control click the verts. And we just want to soften that out. And I think we have our trigger. So you must make a mental note that when we come to mirroring this across we will have to adjust the size of the trigger just slightly but uh, I'll do that in my own time. So you guys uh, go ahead and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson.